Hello guys, welcome to Amit Thinks. In this video, we will learn how to download and install the current Java version, Java 22 on Windows 10. With that, we will also see a sample example after installing. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any web browser. On Google type Oracle Java, press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible oracle.com. Click on it. On clicking, we have reached the official website. Now go to top right and click on download Java. Now all the versions are visible. You can see Java 22 is visible. Here it is Java JDK 22 and we want for Windows. Click on the Windows tab. Here in three files are visible. We need to click on the installer file exe 163 MB. Click on it to download. Download started. Let's wait. It's only 164 MB. We have downloaded the exe file. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize. Now the installation will start. The setup started. Click next. Now our Java JDK 22 will get installed in the following folder. It's fine. Click next. Now it will complete the installation. Successfully installed. Click close. Now let us set the path. Now go to the path wherein we installed Java, C drive, program files. And herein you can see Java. We installed it here. JDK 22. Go inside it. Go to the bin path. Copy. Now go to start, type environment variables, click on edit the system environment variables, click open. Under advanced, here click environment variables. Okay, now under system variables go to path, double click on it. Click new and right click and paste the same path. Click OK. OK. And the last OK. Now let us verify the installation. Go to start. Type CMD. Click open. On CMD type the command Java space hyphen hyphen version and uh, press enter. It's visible that means we Successful installed Java 22. Now let us quickly run our program. I'll go to the path. You can create a new file anywhere on C drive, D or E drive. Let's say I'll go for E drive. Here I'll right click new and create a new text document. Okay, I'll name it. Let's say I'll name it Studyopedia. Let's say I'll name it Studyopedia. Okay, and you can see the path is txt. I'll right click and rename. Here in set Java, dot Java and keep the cursor here and press enter. Do you want to change the file name extension? Yes. Okay, so we have our Java file now. Here it is type Java. If you're not getting the extensions here and you're unable to rename, on Windows 10, go to View, select File Name Extension. Okay, I already selected it. Okay, it vanished because I already selected it. Therefore, it was visible. That's it. Now you can open this file. Right click. You can open with Notepad++. If you're not having it, go to Open With and 
and click notepad. Now let us write our first code. Always remember the class name will be equivalent to the file name. So our file was studyopedia. Therefore our class name will also be studyopedia. Okay. Now I'll type print let's say I'll print my name let's say I'll print my name okay that's it let us see the code here the class keyword will allow you to add the class name which is studyopedia here comes public static void main this is an access specifier this static will allow the following main function to be called without the need to instantiate a particular instance this is our return type void main is where the actual java application begins the entry point these are for command line arguments okay that's it system.out.println is used to print anything in java system is our predefined class out is our output stream and println method will allow you to display the string that's it file save okay now we will run it so following is our path e drive and this for the cmd so how we will reach e drive now to reach any drive type the drive name colon and and press enter here and i'll type dir and you can see our file is visible studyopedia.java here it is now what i'll do I'll type java c that means java compile the name of the file studyopedia.java okay now what will happen when I'll press enter if there won't be any error a class file will generate here I'll press enter now I missed the semicolon okay no problem okay semicolon file save now I'll type the same command again you can use the arrow keys okay so you can see the same command java c space studyopedia.java press enter and now you can see a class file will generate that means we successfully compiled our program to run it type java space studyopedia okay press enter and you can see amit divan printed that means we successfully ran our first program and printed a message amit divan so guys we successfully installed java and ran our first program if you want a free tutorial go to our website studyopedia.com tutorials slash java and here is a tutorial you can see all the chapters okay 38 chapters thank you for watching the video